Hey, what is up everybody and welcome to a little demonstration video that I have here. Uh, I've been working on Python for a long time recently and um, I got bored and I made a Hangman game in Python. Of course there's still a lot more to do and uh, let's give it a shot anyway. Uh, so it's fully working as it is right now. Um, there's a few things I could do better, for example, add a proper GUI rather than just using the command console here. Um, but yeah, player one, enter a word. Um, I was gonna make it two player, so I had player one and player two enter words things, but that never really happened. I'm still planning on doing it, but later, so. Okay, let's enter a word. What word can we enter? World. I don't know. Oh boy, we have a very complicated word with two letters in it. Is it it? <laughs> it is not it. I, I got that wrong already. Um, okay. What can it be? Okay. I actually have no idea. Is it hi? No, because we already tried I. Let's put H anyway. Nope. Okay. It's me. Yeah, there we go, we got the word me with one guess remaining. Okay, so this is the code right here. It is rather simple, it just took a really long time to figure it out because I am a noob in Python. Well, not really, like, I've done a lot of work with it, but like, I'm still considered a noob by the pros, of course. Um, so yeah, this is the code, let me explain it all to you. So. What we have is we have import random and import OS. I don't remember why I had import OS. It does absolutely nothing in this as far as I know. Um, that's for like later when I do crazy stuff. Um, okay, so the first thing that we have is we have a words list. Um, it's a list, as it suggests. So yeah, th this makes a list. I'm just explaining this to you as if you don't know Python. If you do, then you probably can guess everything by just looking at this code. And I have a few functions here, so I have player1 and player2 enter word things. Um, they can be just one function, but I got bored and just copied it over because I couldn't be bothered to figure out how to make it so those words say different things in different times. Um, so what it does, it opens a text document as a pen, so it doesn't overwrite it and just adds onto it and it has me input a word and then it writes the word and lowers all the characters so that when you're trying to guess the word it's not case sensitive yeah that's what I was trying to say it's not case sensitive that way and then creates, creates the next lines for the next word and then closes document and the same for this um, then I have the game word function. Uh, so what this does is it makes the list words and it opens them, it opens the entire document into this list. And for every line in this list, I don't actually know the code. I, I'm looking at it for the first time here in a while. I literally just made one small thing to it just now before recording. So what it does is it creates a word list to which it appends all of the lines in it apart from the very last line because the very last line is uh, it, there's nothing it's empty it's where the next word would go when you're opening it and adding the word and then from this words list uh, I actually I had to do this because otherwise it doesn't work it doesn't let me do it from here I have to make an actual word list. This isn't a, this isn't a list. It just opens the whole document. So yeah, it makes it then makes the list, and then it uses the random choice command from importing random over here for the words list, and that's the that is the word, and then it closes the words document, and then it re returns the word to wherever I had called it. Then a function I added just now is a word print function, which takes list. Um, so it starts with word print being absolutely nothing, just empty. Uh, you have to set it, otherwise it won't work. And for every letter in the list, 
Uh, I don't know why I have list. I literally just did it now and I don't remember why it was list. But yeah, for every letter in this... Oh right, I remember. For every letter in the list, that is the single word, it adds letter to this empty word print and it returns the word print. Pretty simple. Um, and the reason I did it like this is because if I was to print a, a list, which is what I was working with um, in the main game function, is because then when I print the word list, well, the print the list that contains the word in it, it will print it um, something like this. It will start like that, and then it will do that, and then that. And then that would just get annoying because that would be way too much stuff and I just wanted to have just the letters. Okay, then carrying on. So I cancelled out the player2 function right now so I don't have to enter two, let two, two words every time I play the game and only one word. The reason I need to enter a word is then it adds to the word database which is in this file here. So then there's more words. And the more you play it, the more words you'll end up with. I will, of course, um, put a link in the description to a download you can have for this file, and then you can play the game yourself, create all the words. It's it's fun. It's pretty fun. It's surprisingly difficult. Um, and then the word, yeah. Then it calls the function game word, which chooses the word for the game. And then, it's this is just starting everything up right before the game um, so the guesses is 2 plus the length of the word so you have two more guesses than they are length of characters well the number of characters I mean so let's say we have a five letter word we'll have seven guesses if we have a three letter word we'll have five guesses uh, and that way it's slightly more fair. I had it just as the length of the word previously and that was a bit harder So yeah Then we have the word length Which is a list and then we have entered letters, which is another list and incorrect letters, which is another list again um, Then we have a loop here for iron range length of word it uh, basically for every letter it will so let's say we have a five letter five letter word it will loop five times and it will add to this list this this finger figure here previously I had it as an underscore but when I was adding it to a single string it became very hard to read because in Python there's no space between each one of those so it just looked like that and it was hard to tell how many letters there were and what position the letters were in that you already got right or wrong for example. So yeah I, I changed it to a dash and that's made it pretty easy because in a dash as you can see there is a space between them. The only problem with that is that it's a lot smaller. I'm doing hand gestures and my camera is not even on, I know that, but I'm still doing hand gestures because it's, I'm explaining to myself, you know. So yeah, then we print the, the, this whole, um, we print that list that we just created with the dashes, but we put it through the word print function first. And we pass the word length onto with onto it, which is then known as list in the function, and it works it as the list, and then it returns the word print, which is then printed here. Yeah, and then letters remaining is the length of the word. Um, then the main loop here. This is the entire game right here, as you can see. This is the whole game, the whole reason it works basically. Um, Okay, let's go through it. So it's a forever while loop basically um, with a condition that guesses does not equal zero. So what that basically means is that when as long as you have guesses remaining it will run the game 
and then afterwards it will not work anymore so it doesn't forever go even after you lost the game so the first thing we set here is error which is the length of the word and what that does is later I don't know where we use it but yeah uh, we check with error so if error equals zero then the guesses go to zero so basically in this loop this is a big loop here um, inside the other loop of course um, okay let's go back a bit we have an input here for our letter that's it and then going into this loop we have for iron range length of word so for every letter it will check it will check what you entered um, so in one of these runs for one of these guesses it will do a whole check of the word here of the game word that has been set earlier it will do an if statement for if word length which is the letter um, the reason the reason I did it as a list this the reason I did word length as a list rather than the string as I print it is because then it's easier to check well I find it's easier to check because then I can just look at it like this um, I mean I'm sure it's just as easy with string but when I was doing it I didn't really think of it and I can't be bothered to change it so it checks if the position of the letter this is hard to explain. There's a lot of very similar things called here. And I'm having speech problems because I'm not smart. Okay, yeah, so if the word length i, so the letter in the word equals what I guessed, it will print and enter a letter as that has not been entered before. So basically what it does is it will tell you right away if you've entered that letter before so it doesn't have to go through the whole thing I mean like it, this only works if you already have that letter entered so let me just like try running it um, enter a word I know frog okay let's try get a, f a letter okay so we have C correct here um, so if I was to enter C again, it won't let me do that and it won't take my guesses down because it's already been entered and it's already correct. Okay, so next next if statement, I know that you're supposed to do elif, alsif, but it wasn't working here. It just literally did not work. So I had to do separate if statements here. Um, so what this does is... Uh, word so if the letter of the word equals the guess word which is what we entered input it um, it will change yeah so this is the word the word that we're trying to guess and this is the guess letter I know it's really complicated how I name things here. It's I I didn't do it smartly, but yeah, the then we will change out the word length list letter. So let's say we got the second letter right in the whole thing. It will change the second letter to what was the second letter in the word. So yeah, that, that's how it would work. And then it would change the letters remaining to le one less than what it is. Um, so that when we get all the letters right, we can stop the program and say we won. Um, then the next if statement is if the word letter does not equal the guess word, it will change the error to one less. And then if the error goes down to zero, so it's run through all of this, every single time and I didn't get any of any letters right in the word the error goes down and then we lose a guess and then it will append the incorrect letters well incorrect letter to the incorrect letters 
list, which we then uh, later when we print it here, we pass it through the word print function to get a string rather than a list. So yes. Okay, then we print the word print word length. Yeah, we pass we pass the word length through the function. So our, what we have right here. So we have nothing here, and then we get C correctly, and uh, yeah, and we get printed this again. Um, even if we didn't get guess anything correctly, we still print it because otherwise you have to look back. Man, I am having trouble speaking today. I haven't recorded a video in a long time, just saying. It's been a long time since I recorded anything. Um, and then it will print how many guesses we have remaining, and then if the letter remaining equals zero, so let's say we win the game, it will print congrats, you got the word prints word with a number of guesses remaining and it will break the whole line, break this whole thing and then else if, if guesses equals zero you, it will print you lose the word was word the word that was set earlier and it will break as well and then it wait for, waits for user input so if we're running it in the command line it doesn't just uh, instantly close without you seeing the message and then these are just the things I needed to add um, basically done this uh, um, just need to make it so that it if you enter a letter that has been entered incorrectly before for example like you can see we in, let we entered F which was incorrect if we enter it again it will lose us the point which we don't want to do so i'll i'll get rid of this as soon as i do that but i'm a bit lazy um while i was away i was doing a lot of work on python and i made a really good login system so i'll be sure to incorporate it into this um and the way the login system works i'll be able to use the basis of it to make the high scores leaderboard and i i also made an encryption decryption system for the login system that I made earlier so I'll be able to encrypt the words file for some reason I don't know why I wanted to do it and then of course two players that, that's gonna be a bit more difficult to do and the menu system that, that menu system is fairly easy but I would want to make it with a GUI um, so let's just add that to it I would want to make it with a GUI but I'm really not that great with Tkinter or Jython so I'd have to learn that a bit more. I basically know how to add buttons and to make them go to different pages and that stuff but I don't really know how to make how to intertwine them with functions and stuff that I would have to do a bit later. So yeah this is the uh, fully working hangman, hangman game let's try and guess this word correctly um, I have no idea what it is. I'm not going to guess it, am I? Did it chance? No. Change? No. I, I don't know what it is. Chamber. Okay. I remember when I entered that. Okay, so the word was chamber. You lose. Yeah. And then it waits for the user input, which I just did. So yeah, this is this is it. You can download it in a link in the description if I remember to add it, of course. And I will see you in the next one. Maybe maybe an update on this, or maybe on but on the project that I had to make the login system for if I ever finish it. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye bye.